Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now finally, President William Samuel Ruto has swear in the six judges that the immediate former president Uhuru Kenyatta had refused to swear in after the former CJ David Maraga had forwarded the names to him. And that in that event, the former CJ Maraga decided to attend the event. Salim Davadi and uh, the National Assembly Speaker <laughs> Moses Masika Wetangula together with the Antony General Kiharu Karyuki also attended the event just to witness the swearing in. And uh, there is a photo that is trending after that event. <laughs> the photo of the current AG Kiharu Karyuki is trending. But before we go into the reason why that photo is trending, I wanted to watch this video shortly and then we will continue just to see how the event was going on at the State House. Kalibu, Chief Registrar. Thank you very much. Judges of the Court of Appeal and judges of the Environment and Land Court through Gazette Notice number 10983 and number 10984, dated and published on 13th of September 2022, in exercise of the powers conferred upon Your Excellency by Article 166.1b of the Constitution. If it pleases Your Excellency, it is now my humble duty to invite the designate judges of the Court of Appeal to take their respective oaths of office as follows. Honorable Mr. Justice Agri Muchelule Otsula. Now, this is the photo that has been trending online, on Twitter, and on Facebook. And you can see in this photo, we have the current Antonio General, Kiharu Karuki, who has been working with President Uru Kenyatta. Then immediately after him is the immediate former uh, Bungoma Senator, who is the current Speaker of the National Assembly. Uh, Moses Masika Wetangula, then after Wetangula we have Musalem Davadi, and after Musalem Davadi we have the former CJ David Maraga, after that we have the registrar of the, the judiciary, and after that we have the deputy CJ, and after that we have CJ Mother Komi. In this photo you can see Kiharu Karuki is his seat is away from the red carpet. All these other leaders, the arrangement and the seat are on the red carpet. So they are sitting on the red carpet. But the AG is sitting away from the carpet, but just next to Wetangula. So just th that already tells you that whoever did the arrangement of this sitting did not put it in mind that uh, Antony General Kar Kihara Karuki is going to be among the people who will be attending this event. Or if not so, then his seat was not put in front, on the front line with the other leaders who attended this event. <laughs> and there is a reason why the AG Karuki seat was not put in front. So that means maybe he forced himself there or someone just brought this seat later. <laughs> and my main reason with this video here is to explain the reason why A.G. Karuki has been humiliated or isolated in this event. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and any on the comment, I must say thank you so much for unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. 
Now, immediately, President William Ruto appointed the six judges, uh, sweared in the six judges. The Shire Senator James Orengo was among the people who congratulated and welcomed uh, that event. And this is what Orengo said. There was no justification at all to frustrate the appointment of the judges of the Court of Appeal, some of the best judicial brain. Kudos to Mchelule, Koril, Ngugi, Makoro, and Omange. And the Maraga was there to witness it all. An independent judicial is paramount. And of course, Odunga, he, he and Ngugi are not just good judges, but also great scholars. Apart from James Orengo, of course Nelson Harvey, the immediate former president of the Law Society of Kenya, also reacted, and this is what Nelson Harvey had to say. With proper legal advice from the AG and the SG and the commitment to uphold and defend the constitution of Kenya by, pres by the president, the appointment of the six judges should not have waited until today. Kariuki, Kihara, and Ken Ogeto let the legal fraternity down. They should be expelled. So that is now Nelson Harvey reacting to this. Besides this, I know also uh, the Makweni governor, who is the immediate former Makweni senator, Mutula Kilonzo Jr., also reacted to this. And uh, according to Mutula Kilonzo, he said that the Antony General should be held responsible and even he should be sued for misadvising President Uhuru Kenyatta, the retired president, on their swearing in of these judges. Because we remember President Uhuru Kenyatta, he refused to swear in with the some grounds on it, <laughs> on the issue of corruption. So, in my view, I agree with this sentiment. There was a reason why A.G. Kihara was to advise President Uru Kenyatta in the right way and to persuade him to swear in these judges. But he refused to give, to give the president the right advice. And if he gave the right advice and the president refused to take the advice, then there was no reason the AG could appear before the court to defend the decision of, pre of the former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, not to, uh, not to swear in these judges. Because you remember, he appeared before the court to defend the former president's de decision. And this could be just some of the reasons why A.G. Kihara was not a welcomed guest in this event. Actually, he was an unwelcomed guest. This is one of the reasons. He misadvised the president and even he appeared before the court to defend the mistake that the president had already done. So for him appearing here is like a betrayer. He already betrayed these six judges. And there was no reason for him to attend this event. <laughs> so this will be one of the reasons. Number two, William Samai Ruto is simply telling the AG that I don't need you. We don't need your presence here. We don't need your service here. You have to go with, the, uh, with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru has retired. Please retire with the Kenyatta. He is simply telling him that I'm on my own plan to bring in another person into this position. He will appoint another, position, another person into this position of the AG. So expect a new AG in the office and the Kihara will be forced to resign or he will be kicked out by President William Samai Ruto from the office. 
And in my view, you see, President Uru Kenyatta is on record referring to the Supreme Court judges as Wakora. And this, this did not sit well with the judges in this country, even lawyers, including Orenga and the team. They were against the utterance from President Uhuru Kenyatta. And in fact, some people were suggesting that this was some of the reasons why even these judges were not <laughs> ruling in favor of Raila Molo Dinga because Raila had already accepted with the President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru had already abused the judges. And therefore, the judges were also here to discipline Uhuru Kenyatta. And that's why they were ruling against Raila Odinga. Because even after that, Raila did not come out strongly after the handshake to defend the judges and even to, to, reach, out to reach out to President Uhuru Kenyatta to persuade him to release funds to the judiciary. He did not. The judiciary suffocated they did not get their funds. The humiliation continued. So the way President Uru Kenyatta had said that he's going to discipline or to revisit, to revisit the judiciary, he did it. But again, the, the judiciary also, in one way, someone can say that they were also revisiting on Uru Kenyatta by punishing his candidate. <laughs> because in that government, Uru was going to be neat. Because Jubilee Party was supporting that government. So, the issue here is that William Ruto is in power and is telling the AG Kariuki, get out of my government, I don't need you. That's why he was not given a chance there. His seat was just brought in later because he forced himself in that event. <laughs> Actually, it shows that he forced himself. So it is time for him to go.